Alien Breed is the first in the Alien Breed series of science fiction shooter video games played with a top-down view, for one or two players. It was released in 1991 by Team 17 for the Commodore Amiga and later in 1993 by Microleague for MS-DOS. Gameplay The game was based heavily, and unofficially, on the Alien films, specifically Aliens, and also on the 8-bit era games Laser Squad and Paradroid although the game bears some gameplay similarities with Gauntlet, with which it has been compared, as well an obvious comparison with Sega's Alien Syndrome. Alien Breed consists of the player or players having to find the lift down to the next level, occasionally setting the self-destruct sequence to blow up the level above them. The players collect or purchase a variety of weapons from the space station's computer terminals. In some versions of the game, these so-called Intex terminals provide additional features such as a clone of the classic computer game Pong. Credits found on the ground have to be saved for these weapons and other enhancements, each giving the players an edge over the gradually more and more powerful alien forces. In advanced levels, players are occasionally trapped in enclosed spaces with huge boss aliens, reminiscent of the Alien Queen. The third game in the series, Alien Breed, Tower Assault, introduced nonlinear gameplay, in which, some levels are not required to be completed before exiting, and the game can be completed in several different ways. Reception Alien Breed was released to critical acclaim. CU Amiga awarded it 90%, noting that, Team 17 have come up with a winner, while the Channel 4 video game program GamesMaster gave the Amiga version a 70% rating. Computer Gaming World in March 1994 criticized the asinine copy protection, but said that the DOS version is still a good action title for those who like their play quick and simple. The magazine in April 1994 stated that while right at home at the local arcade or any cartridge game machine, the DOS version of Alien Breed has fallen behind in the tech race, citing the European use of mission codes instead of save games and pretty but shallow gameplay. The reviewer unfavorably compared it to Doom, with an almost identical somewhat tired premise, but of which the execution makes all the difference. Despite the good graphics and fast-paced action, he concluded that Alien Breed was not suitable for the average computer gamer on this continent, but might be for the less demanding player or one who wanted a Nintendo. Topic. Intro disc. Team 17 also made an intro disc available, containing a short animated introductory sequence with on-screen narration which follows events leading into the start of the game. After the introduction is finished, the player is prompted for disc 1 of the game, effectively making the introduction disc disc 0. Team 17 produced a similar introduction disc for Superfrog, animated by Eric W. Schwartz, although this was included with the retail edition of the game. Topic. Legacy Alien Breed Special Edition 92 was an expanded version, published in 1992, at budget price. It was hugely popular, staying in the British software charts for more than a year. It also featured a movie trailer-style advert for Team 17's upcoming Superfrog, which was unusual at the time. As well as being released on the Amiga, this version of the game was also released on the Amiga CD32 in a double pack with QWAK. Both the original and the special edition did well enough to merit further sequels, almost all of which have been commercial and critical successes. The player characters in this game and its sequel were named Johnson and Stone. By the third game, Alien Breed, Tower Assault, the player characters were named John and Nash. In keeping with the Aliens theme, a female voiceover, the voice of Lynette Reed, provided warnings and other messages to the players. In 2012, a port of Alien Breed for smartphones and tablets was released for both iOS and Android, to very favorable reviews. <laughs> 